Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies coming to you with some Jack Daniels, but this ain't your old number seven. What is it? It is not. This is single barrel rye. Rye, baby. Rye. I'm a big fan of the rye lately. Rye's to the, the ryes have been coming up. Ryes are very popular. Yeah. Now we've done Knob Creek rye. We've done Bullet rye. Um, Bullet rye Canadian, got a lot of hits. Some Canadian rye. Oh, the NHR, baby. NHR. Um, we found a lot of stuff that's just labeled, for, for example, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Yeah. And then you get in there and you taste it and you're picking up rye mm -hmm. in the mash bill. Yeah, because they've got even some though it's not billed, yeah. yeah. Even though it's yeah. not billed, you know, a rye or anything. Right. Um, I'm a fan of the rye. Now I love we, the rye. And last week we just went back, we just did the Jack Daniels number seven. Boom, surprised Wait a us, surprised us. I just realized, who's number seven? Oh, Elway, John baby, Elway. John Elway, it it's ain't only, over. It's only Ooh. fitting that Jack Daniels would be number seven. <laughs> Old number seven. Old number seven. Old number seven, baby. Um, come back, it ain't over. A while back, uh, when I heard Jack Daniels was putting out the single barrel rye in our liquor store, I said, you gotta let me know when you get it in, you need it. It came in. You told Coop that? Uh, Matt. 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 And so, they got it in, picked it up. Hmm. Jack Daniels Tennessee Whiskey Single Barrel Rye. We got to give it a go. What is our ABV? 47. 47% 47. 47 ABV. Yeah. I did not know now, you called for this. Yeah. Hmm. Which has become, I've seen it in several stores now. And just in the last couple of months did it start showing up. Right. 70% um, of the bill is rye. Rye grain. Good call. Whoa, I poured you more That's than good. me. That's good. All right. Um, a little crazy. So anyway, with the popularity of Rye's, uh, with the Jack Daniels name, wasn't hesitant, needed to pick it up, give it a go. And I'm saying, and I should have reconfirmed this because of our new segment at the end, but I'm thinking 50, <laughs> I think this was $50. Okay. 50 to 60. Okay, blurb, blurb at the end. Yeah. Yeah, Which we'll talk order. about later, but we'll I should have looked it up to remember, see, maybe I put it in my notes, what it Doesn't was. Matter. Doesn't matter, you're good though. No, so, I didn't. on the nose, you know what? This nose, very interesting early Intriguing. on. Intriguing. It is. Intriguing yet simple, because what I get is vanilla cream soda. Have you had that cream, cream soda? It yeah, smells but... just like cream soda to me. Mm. Orange cream soda, maybe, okay. because I get orange peel. Hmm. I can I can see some of the citrus. Now I have vanilla, like vanilla bean, hmm. which of course is a cream soda, kind of that vanilla. But I was like, wow. I mean, I sat down with this. You were like, hey, try this. Let's get this on. Yeah, I'd say like, it's wow. more like orange cream soda. But anyway, I see the orange. I, I was starting. I was starting to get to though when I picked this up. Even though it's Jack Daniels, I'm thinking rye whiskey. Yes. And it's not. It is, but it isn't. I'm with you. I was very surprised. It's, very not your, it's not your Knob Creek rye. No. Which is spicy and bold and strong and powerful. Yes. It's This is a little bit more subtle and a little bit more, well, I still got spice, but I list it, well, I'll get into the flavor here. Let me taste it, but I list it as more of a medium rye. Yeah, while you're tasting, yeah, just a little bit of rye on the nose, and at first I called it dirt, <laughs> but as I nosed it longer, I was able to dichotomize it. Oh, I think that's made up. Between the charcoal and the rye filter, okay. the charcoal filtering and the rye. Combined at first, I thought dirt, yeah. no, what is it? It's charcoal, it's rye. Yes, yeah. It is... If you're a fan of rise, now if you don't like rise, you're probably not going to like this. If you're a fan of rise, this is going to be a unique rye. This is not your everyday rye. Now I know I'm, I'm diverging a little bit, but the Crown Royal NHR, the Northern Harvest rye, I think the reason that won the award um, from the Whiskey Bible was that it was also a unique rye. It was a winter rye from Canada, yes. a little bit more subtle. This is a different kind of rye. Yes. And, and that's what really intrigues me. Now, my phone's on saver mode, and it keeps shutting off, so I'm going to get rid of it right now because it's almost dead. Scott said, bring your charger down. No. Nope. Didn't do it. Didn't do it. I'm mm. an obstinate. I'm an obstinate fella. 
I don't like. I don't even want to this, add water. I'm going to add water to it. It's got great. It is a little high to me at 47. percent I'm going to add some water. Mm. And I love this. I do too. Let me just say that. I do too. Um, this is a great combination of that Jack Daniels Tennessee charcoal filtering whiskey coming together with a rye whiskey. Um, and I didn't expect it. That just wasn't what I was thinking of when I was thinking rye whiskey. My only concern here is that I am trying to remember. Do you remember what I scored old number seven? I think I scored it at 90. 89. 89. You same as okay, me. Okay, good. Because I've scored this one. I'm just going to let you know right now. I scored it in 88. And I was questioning why. Because hmm. when I score them, I score them individually. I don't go in and look, hey, what have I scored all the other Jack Daniels? How does it compare with other Rise? And I was sitting there going, huh. And I'm going to tell you that this is unique and special as a rye, and I'm not saying it's 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 worse at all. I think the reason that Jack Daniels number seven jumped up a little bit for me was the shock value. Mm. I was really surprised. I expected a raw spirit with the old number seven, and so I don't know if a comparison. This is the first time I'm going to say this of comparison to the rye to their Tennessee whiskey is is something you would want to say, well, why is he scoring the number seven higher than this? Because I love this, and I want this as one of the ranges of rye I have. Mm. You know I went and bought a case of the Northern Harvest rye, and not because well, I got the whiskey Bible thing. Let's point out, though, that locally, $19.99 a bottle. We got to have a good price on the Northern on the Crown Royal. Royal Northern not on this, Royal. on the Crown Royal. Not just us, though. That's public. I mean, yeah, that was public, at several places. Public. So I went and bought a case of it, but I love Rise, and I like the little subtle differences that are out there with the Rise. Bring out the Rye, baby. Bring out the Rye. And Jack, thank you, because <laughs> I love this. The 88 is, not, is, is just a top-notch Rye. The 88 my score oh i mean it's a great rye it's a very different rye. um got a little bit off track though let's go back to the tape did you get into your tasting notes mine cream soda mine a very smooth bread a uh, rye bread okay um coats the mouth a little sip really just shoots and permeates your mouth yeah um that dried charcoal is more. present this is neat um, that dry them. charcoal is That's present. a good description, dry charcoal. You're right. Mm -hmm. You're right. Yeah, yeah. Almost like you're getting, like, you go out to your charcoal grill <laughs> and there's some ashes in there from yes. the prior time Yes. when you uh, barbecued mm -hmm. grilled something and you dump your charcoal in there and some of that dust comes it wafts. up. It wafts. So, I didn't have that on there, but you're 100% yep. correct. There's a very slight spiciness to it. Yeah. And to me, just this two-dimensional charcoal filtered whiskey rye whiskey hmm that's a very good description because i called it medium spicy rye and then i called it with a creamy vanilla-ness laying in the background there. Mm -hmm. there is a creamy vanilla in there and that is a wonderful wonderful combination because you'll have some ryes that are just spice baby it's pepper and it's boom boom mm. boom 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 and this is a little bit of both it's a little bit of that old number seven with this special little rye mixed in there. And when you described it as the bread, mm -hmm. I agree, mm -hmm. I agree. Um, water to me brings out, uh, and it was even there present, I think before the water, but mm. that kind of that orange peel, the sweetness, citrus. It's got a very unique um, nose. It's just a great combination. I still love it sitting here and I haven't had it for a few weeks now. Now I do have though, or I was gonna say on the bottle, it shows it was bottled February 25th. Um, so, a little over a month and a half ago. Hmm. Um, 47% ABV. I'm going to tell you, this will make my top five whiskeys. Oh, don't call it. Yet. Yes. I'm Come on, telling 2016? you. 2016? Yes. Come on. That I'm could be calling another, it. No. We're doing 54 different yep. whiskeys. I'm telling you. This, You're saying this, this is, is in the race for number one. Oh, boy. I can't tell you that. Yeah. I'll predict a uh, driverless car before 2020, but I'm not <laughs> predicting this is number five. Oh yeah, definitely top five. Wow. I don't want to say innovate, not innovation. Um, let's say creative experimentation. Experimentation. Yeah, I agree with you. I'm thrilled. I am thrilled with this. Really like it. If you like rye at all, go out and give this a shot. If you don't like the rye, this isn't going to win you over to the rye, in my opinion. 
all right? Although it is medium, but if you yeah. enjoy rise, yeah. you need this because this fits in a, almost like, I would say NHR, the Northern Harvest Rye from Crown Royal is kind of your entry level beginner rye. A lot of folks that are scared of whiskey, I'll give them that to try. This would be number two. If they said, wow, I love the rye, bam, here's the second one I'm showing you. So, all right, he's got a 91. I told you my score is an 88. Um, not, mm. uh, not bad at all. I just gave it an 88. I like it. I love it. It's a second tier entry level rye for me. Now, hold on. My shirt. American Cruise Lines. It's showing a little bit of my belly, which is why he's laughing. It's a little tight on my arm. Right out of high school, I worked on a small cruise ship on the East Coast. Lovely, lovely time. This was the shirt that the deckhands wore. American Cruise Lines. It went out of business, but now it's back in. What are you laughing at? Nothing. You're laughing. I like it. You're chuckling. You're a little chuckling. You're like, head. this shirt still fits me, and I wore it in high school. Still fits me, and I'm not even slightly fat. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't even have muscles anymore. I must have been a skinny dude, dude. Skinny. Yeah. Sure. Well, I was only 6'4 when I graduated from high school. I grew two more inches between 18 and 22. Well, I'm, yeah, but how much, and how much more do you weigh? God. What'd you weigh in oh that, when you God, graduated? Dude. I ate every damn thing I could get my hands on. And Look, my senior I'm, I'm going to guess you were 150, 160 oh, pounds. Oh, you're so mean. I was 175. Okay. But I could not. I was begging my dad, hey, because my dad was kind of beefy. He was 6'4", and he was like thick. I'm like, hey, what'd you do? He said, I had the same problem when I was a kid. You know what he told me? He drank, he drank chocolate milk. Hell, almost. Worse than that. I got 1950s advice on gaining weight. Right before you go to bed, drink a big old vanilla milkshake. Oh. Holy moly, you can't sleep with that much sugar in your system. <laughs> well, when I you're 50. Yeah. Maybe, but he did it when he was a kid in the 50s. Oh, when he and was when a kid. When he was in the it. 50s, yeah. And then he told me, enjoy it while you can, because he was starting to fight his belly. And mm. I've run into the same deal. Your metabolism slows down. But yeah, his advice was drink a big old vanilla or chocolate milkshake before you go to bed. And then I'd like, I can't sleep. What the hell's going on? Oh, Nowadays, I, I eat tell ice you, cream before I go to bed. Now. So, well, sometimes. Grab, sometimes yeah, that insulin dump will put you to sleep, yeah. <laughs> But Jesus, nowadays I'd tell you protein up. I mean, you know, but whatever. Okay. Uh, oh, is it worth it? Is it worth it? Is it worth it? How much? How much? Let's just call it, I'm pretty sure, thinking now, I'm pretty sure it's $49.95. Let's call it $50. Yes. Yes. Yes, love You've it. You've got to try it. Love it. I want the Knob Creek rye. I want the Northern Harvest rye. And this this Jack Daniels rye sits in, the, in between those. Mm -hmm. So it's right in the middle. And uh, I, lo I love it. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna have a hard time not drinking this. Uh, well, you I, told I me you were leaving this here at my house, yeah. I did. <laughs> you said, Hey, you can keep it. <laughs> That's what you told me. You said that can stay at your home. I was like, Thank you, appreciate mm. it. All right, hey, before we sign out, please don't forget go to Patreon, help us stay on the air. Well, here's the deal. We're not going off the air. If we made not, no, we done, are. If you don't help us out on Patreon, we're, not. we're yeah. gonna. When we started, we're gonna this, crash and burn. We need help. When we started this, I told Scott, I don't care if we get 17 viewers. I like spending time with you, and I like whiskey. Uh, I like I spending know, that's time kinda, with you too. Know, that's a, not in a sexual way. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, seriously, we're spending time together, but it helps us out. It does help us out. So if you don't have the means or the motivation, don't worry about it. We're going to keep putting out shows. Sure. But if you want to help us out and you do have the means and the motivation, just give us a dollar. You give us a buck, we're going to mention your name during one of our shows in a, in a course of a year. You throw in two dollars, one of us is going to shout your name out. I'm like, and I don't mean just like a, hey, we'll shout it out. We're going to like, shout it! No! It'll yeah! Be, yeah! <laughs> it'll be like that. And be like, Scott Bruno! And he'll be like, God dang, they just yelled my name out. Wow. Right? Yeah, that was a little scary. You scared me for a second there. I need a drink of the Samurai. <laughs> if you do $3 an episode, which is quite a lot, like Sam Ham, uh, Sanford, Sanford. I want Ham, to say Sanford Sam, Hamby. Sanford Hamby. I want to say Sam. Like Hamby did, if you want to send us a photo, we'll put a photo up. We'll comment on the photo. We'll thank you. We'll show the photo. And uh, boom, that's $3 an episode. But don't forget, 
we put out a, a Whiskey Wednesday and a World Whiskey Scotch or World Whiskey Saturday. That's two videos a week. So if you're doing a dollar... Shut it! <laughs> Did I talk just, too much? No. <laughs> oh, God. It just came to mind again. Scared me again, <laughs> man. I need to hold on. God, man, I've got to settle my nerves. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> <laughs> Help us out on Patreon. Help Follow us, us on Twitter. Go take a look. Patreon.com. Like look us on Scott's Facebook. Test Dummies. You'll see it all there. Do it. Yeah, do check out Facebook, man. Not nearly as many people are going there, and that's my fault. In the meantime, scotch it, you scotch gods. Salancha. Dummies. dummies. Yeah! <laughs>